Hello, New Hope. This is Pastor Weaver, and I just want to say hello to everybody, tell you I sure love you. Some of you I know haven't been out after COVID watching online. We appreciate it. Appreciate you praying. Appreciate you being faithful to give and pray for everybody. And we're here. You call me. Call one of the other pastors, Pastor Jeff. Just please uh, know we're here. We, we, we care about you. We think about you. And if you hear of somebody in need, please let us know. Any way we can help you. I wanted to bring up just in this devotion today, just a simple thought, and it's going to be short. And don't drop your teeth when I say the word short, but it, it is it is going to be shorter. And uh, what I want to bring up is the fact that um, the world, all over the world, is there are in, uh, forces of darkness moving about in all directions in variety of ways. And you know, the Bible tells us to be sober, be vigilant, for there's a roaring lion who's Satan, the devil himself, seeking whom he may devour. So we need to be uh, sober-minded and know we have an enemy coming against us. And uh, like never before, this is a time to pray. Pray for the health of people. Pray for the peace of people. Pray for... Uh, people to walk in love and treat everybody with respect. We need to pray. And the, the verse that comes to my mind in Ephesians where Paul says, put on the armor of God. Submit yourself to God. Humble yourself to God. Cry out to God. Look to God. Know that God is the one that's going to make a difference in you and others. And that through you, through relationships, your life will impact other lives relationally. And uh, I want to encourage you to put on your armor. Put that helmet of salvation on. Put the breastplate of righteousness on. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, washed by the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, the blood of Christ that was shed for our sins. Without The Bible says without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness and remission of sins. So put on that breastplate of righteousness. It's Jesus Christ, his blood. Every day, look to him. Put on the belt of truth and stand for truth and live for truth and, and, and don't, don't uh, uh, waver from truth. And then the Holy Spirit, uh, use the prayer of the Holy Spirit, praying all kinds of prayers, you know, in understanding and in spirit and pray. Let the Holy Spirit fill you with love as you do battle because hate never does battle. Truth and love girded together. That's what we need, need to do battle in the midst of darkness. And then, of course, uh, the, your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel. In other words, the simple truth that Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. He lived a sinless life. He died on the cross. He shed his blood. He was in the grave three three days. He rose up from the grave victorious. He appeared to many for 40 days and nights. He ascended up into heaven before a very big crowd and saying, the angel saying, this same Jesus is going to come back in like fashion. So we need to put our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel and give the good news. Jesus is good news. He loves everybody all the time, every time, and offers mercy, grace, and forgiveness all the time. He will set you free. We talk about the 4th of July coming up. You know what true freedom is? Freedom from selfishness, freedom from sin, freedom from, from the power of sin. Jesus will set us free by the power of his word so that we can be the people of God and live above the fray and live with truth and holiness as our, 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 what we carry. And then pick up that word of God, the sword of the spirit, and use it to fight the enemy when he comes to tempt you so you win the battles all the time. And be encouraged, church. Listen, I, I'm just thinking about something. People talking about this could happen, this disaster. We could have this happen in our nation. And the worst thing you can imagine that could happen. If it happens, the answer is the same. You better get right with God and stay right with God. If it doesn't happen, you still better get right with God and stay right with God, right? I mean, that's the bottom line. Stay close to Jesus. Draw nigh to him, James, the book of James says, and he will draw nigh to you. So let us pray. Father, I pray for my friends, for this church, these people, their children, their grandchildren, all of our pastors, all of their relatives, for our city, for our state, for our country, for our leaders, for every person, 
at every tribe and every tongue and every nation. I pray, Jesus, that you would reveal yourself greatly and that the gospel of Jesus would change hearts and we would live a life of love and of peace. And God, that you would bless us and let us be right with you. Let us look inside and examine ourselves and quit worrying about the speck in other people's eyes and get the logs out of ours and live right. Live right and be close to you, Jesus. Not just have a religious belief, but actually walk with you and talk with you and, and have your presence in us. I pray, Jesus, we, we pray, God, for the people of this church and all of us that we would follow after you and be ready because Jesus could come anytime. That we'd be ready even if he doesn't come. To be ready even if there's a national disaster or a worldwide disaster or another pandemic. To be ready and get ready. Or if there's not, still be ready. I pray in Jesus' name because I want all of our church and all of our families to be together in heaven and rejoicing someday in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. Don't forget to drive by, get a bag of candy for all the kids. We're going to have some fun times with people dressed up, playing good music, 10 o'clock Saturday. And I'm going to be going to the Capitals at 9 o'clock and praying, praying for our nation. And you're welcome to join. You still have time to make it to the, uh, to the, you still have time to make it to the, uh, to the, uh, to the parade drive through candy. I'm in the backyard with my daughter and my grand dog Lucille was barking and my daughter said, shut up Lucille. That's not my mother Lucille. That's my grand dog barking like crazy. My mom's in heaven and I want everybody to go there, right? What's our vision? Heaven. What's our mission? Go there. Take as many people with us as possible. I hope to see you not only Saturday, but Sunday. We're at eight o'clock, 9.30 and 11. Eight o'clock, 9.30 and 11. Don't miss it. God bless you.